Now, the political crisis in the Gambia may have settled down after a fraught leadership contest, but the power struggle that followed elections in December has badly hurt its tourism industry, an important pillar of the Gambian economy. Fidelis and Bao went to the seaside resort town of Bacau and spoke to the business owners there who are feeling the brunt of the downturn. The Gambia has long been a popular tourist destination for the winter. Its long stretches of beach and warm weather attract nearly 200,000 tourists annually. But things have changed. When former leader Yaya Jame refused to hand over power in December, tourists were evacuated and the economy hit badly. As soon as, let me say, 9, 10, the places, the beds are all filled up, so you have to come early to have a bed. So it kind of shows how filled this place was. There were many tourists around for real. But since this problem starts, they all have to go home, I mean, for safety-wise. The Gambia Hotel Association said they lost an estimated $4.5 million in the last six weeks. And they're not the only ones missing out. I used to say, like, up to 14 coconuts. But, like, since this problem started, many tourists, they went back home. So, which is really not good for me. And then, like, the business start going down. So now I'm only selling like maybe one, two, three coconut yeah, per day. Roadside traders are also feeling the pinch. Before, there used to be many tourists. Business was so good. But now, because of the political crisis, much of them went back. Yeah, that makes the business slow. Sometimes we sit here for a week. There will be no business. The Gambia's economy contracted in 2014 following the outbreak of Ebola in West Africa. It was hoped tourism would help the country get back on track. Any business will only thrive in the presence of stability, particularly peace. Um, of course, uh, when the former president flip-flopped and decided to, um, not to accept uh, the decision of the electorate, it caused some considerable concern to the business community. President Adama Barrow is yet to announce an economic blueprint despite promises to rebuild the economy. This beach is known as a favorite among tourists, but only a few are here right now. That suggests there's more work to be done as the government tries to boost tourism and revive the industry's brand as the smiling coast of Africa. Fidelis Mba, TLT World, Bacau, The Gambia. And Fidelis joins us now live from Bacau in the Gambia. Fidelis, thank you ever so much for being with us. Fidelis, you've covered political crises in Africa for many years. Thankfully, the one in Gambia didn't descend into all-out violence and chaos. Um, but is there hope that the Gambia can recover quickly from this? Well, uh, as, I, I, as you mentioned, uh, you know, this is actually something that many other African countries have suffered over the years, and some of them struggled. But in this case, uh, because of uh, the fact that the country is just relatively very small, uh, it's a tiny country of just about uh, 1.9 million, less than 2 million people. So, and this is a country that doesn't really have uh, a kind of uh, a history of violence or uh, serious political, uh, you know, uh, clashes, but for the fact that before now they had a ruler who was here for 22 years. So the, the tourism industry is huge, and also the agriculture sector and the service sector are the major contributors of the economy. And uh, they are actually hoping that things would improve, and everyone is so committed. The people I've spoken to on the streets of, uh, you know, of the streets across the Gambia are hopeful that the new president, that even with people now freer to do what they uh, want to do, that the economy will bounce back in no time. What other sectors of the economy have been hurt by this crisis? Well, the, the agriculture sector uh, is a huge contributor to the, uh, the country's GDP. The service industry is there as well. And uh, for, for many years, the ports were relatively dormant. And this is something that uh, some of the, uh, the business analysts that I spoke to are saying that if this is more like uh, activated, if the ports become more functional, that um, you know, the economy would uh, be able to uh, gather, pay, you know, gather pace and be able to bounce back. Also, there's a huge case of unemployment in the country, 
and people are looking forward to like if the economy bounces back that there will be more people who will be gainfully employed the purchasing power of the people will increase and also if, if the government decides to build on infrastructure because here the roads are relatively not in very bad, good shape the public facilities the amenities are not actually readily available things like clean water things like electricity a tele, a telephone is actually more like a luxury getting a, a proper telephone conversation here has been a bit of a problem and internet connection is so expensive and even not so regular so these are the things that they are expecting that the government will be able to improve on so that uh, to attract more investors and also even those who are in the business already will be able to uh, leverage on to thrive. Fidel Samba in Bacau in the Gambia, thank you so much.